It's all right Be a little bitty A little hometown Or a big old city Might as well share Might as well smile I'll put this on For a little bitty while Little bitty Ballin Jackson Old Tom T. Hall song My name's Keith Williams With Fret More Guitar Lessons Where we fret more stress less And make a whole lot of music And uh, we're going to make some music On this Free chord country song, what an easy uh, thing to do right there. Uh, I'm doing, we're doing it in E. That's the key he does it in, pretty sure. But he, uh, I think he's capoing up. Uh, I just saw him on the uh, uh, the official video. He looked like he's capoing up, and he, I think he's playing it in a D position. But uh, anyway, so you could do that because uh, your E's right here, you know, in the D position. So if you capoed up to, that's probably what he's doing there. Uh, but anyway, I'm just playing it in the. Uh, open E position. Uh, I'll show you the D if you want it. I don't know if it really matters that much, but uh, uh, you could, like I say, you do it, if you did it in D, it'd just be D, G, and A, uh, and we're doing it E, A, and B7. So uh, anyway, uh, still kind of works the same there. So uh, there's our E chord. There's an A. Get that A however you want to. I get two fingers. You can do one, two, or three. Okay. And then we're doing a B7. Like I say, if you did it in D, or, you know, if you wanted to still do it in the key of uh, E, but in the D position, just capo up to, come down here, do a D, a G, and an, and an A, okay? And that would get you there, if you wanted to do it that way. But anyway, uh, we're going to just do it in the open courts today, and uh, I'm not sure, you know, sometimes they do it different. I've seen people, you know, artists do it different live than they do, even different keys sometimes. They'll do it live one way or in the studio album, they did it different way. So, uh, so anyway, uh, what we're doing, uh, as far as just the intro, if you want to do the intro, we're going to do E, B7, E, B7, back to E is the intro, okay? And of course, you got to kind of have that fiddle in mind because that's how it starts out. Da, 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 da. the first verse here. I have a little love on a little honeymoon. You got a little dish and you got a little spoon. Okay, goes to B7 there. So we're just uh, E and E and B7 throughout all the verses. Okay, there's one, two, uh, let's see, one, two, three, about four verses, I guess, to the song. So it's just E and B7 back and forth all the way. So like the first line is just E. The next one, it goes from E to B7, back to E. And then the next one stays in E, the third line and the fourth line. Uh, e, B, 7th. Okay, and then back to E. So, same progression all the way through. Alright, here we go. I have a little love on a little honeymoon. Got a little dish and you got a little spoon. Little bitty house and a little bitty yard. Little bitty dog and a little bitty car. Okay, and then we're going to go into the chorus. The chorus I won't do every time because it's going to be the same exact every time, okay? Uh, and he does that probably three or about four times, I'd say at least, throughout the song. Okay. Well, it's all right, it goes to A here. Well, it's all right to be a little bitty back to E. A little hometown B7 or a big old city E. Might as well share A, might as well smile E. Life goes on for a little bit while. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm going to do that, and I'm not, I'm not going to sing it. I'm just going to show you the chords, okay? That was easier or not. Might be easier just to watch my fingers or watch my my hands change there. But anyway, I did a cover on this too. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but anyway, I'll put that in the link down below. And uh, yeah, you can uh, follow along with that as well. But it's just, uh, it's all right. It goes to A, to B, little bitty B, a little hometown B7, a big old city B. Might as well share A, might as well smile E. Life goes on for a little bit, be set a while, okay? And then back to the E. All right, so then uh, we'll go into the next, uh, then, then there's a, a little break in there uh, that he does a couple of times throughout the song, and, it's, and it goes to A first on this one, A, E, A, E, B7, okay? So, ta -ta. E, B7, Okay, so it's that, it kind of holds that E the last time and then goes to the B7. 
And that's what he does uh, throughout the song as a break. And then at the end of the song is how it ends as well. Okay. All right. So we're going to the second verse. Um, t -t 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 yeah. Little bitty baby and a little bitty gown. It'll grow up in a little bitty town. Be seven there. Big yellow bus and a little bitty boots. It all started with a little bitty look. Be seven. Back to me. Okay. It's all right. I'm going back to the chorus again. Okay, so I won't do that again. Uh, we do the chorus again, then we do that same progression that I showed you just a few minutes ago where it goes to the E, A, E, B7, then back to E, A, E, B7, then E, okay? And then we go into the uh, third verse, okay? You know, you got a job and a little bitty check, six pack of beer and a B7, the television set. A little bitty world goes round and round, a little bit of silence, and a little bit of something goes back to the V7 there. Uh, and, uh, and then we stop. Good old boy and a pretty little girl. Just, just downstrokes, so uh, just strung like that, just downstrokes. Good old boy and a pretty little girl. Start all over in a little V7 bitty world. A little bitty plan and a little bitty dream. It's all part of a little bitty scheme. Going back to B7, bitty scheme. And about downstrokes about three times. It's all right. And we've got to build up a little bit and go into that chorus again. And then he does a chorus twice at the end there, all the way through, and then goes back to that same uh, progr uh, chord progression that we did there. Ta -da -da. E, back to A, down to E, E, B, 7, E, it ends it like it right there, okay? So uh, anyway, a pretty simple song, uh, like I say, three chords, can't beat that, and if, like I said, if you want to capo up, I don't know uh, uh, for, you know, why he necessarily did that, he might just like playing a D better or something like that sometimes, and it changes, you know, it changes up a little bit, I, I'll, I'll put a capo on to show you kind of what that sounds like. Uh, if we were to do it that way, but uh, so it's so it'd be like uh, it's all right to be a little bitty little hometown A, big old city B. Might as well share G, might as well smile B. My feelings on for a little bit while A. So I don't know. I mean, it, it does sound pretty cool there so uh either way you want to do it uh, is fine like i say it's gonna be the same key he did it in and you may not be able to even sing it in that key it might be that you or whoever sang it might need to change the key completely and that's quite all right you don't have to do it in the same key that the artist does it in uh that is a myth <laughs> that some people might tell you but it is not truth okay so you you know if you can sing like vince gill or some people there's some people you can't sing like we just can't do it either either they get too low or they get too high so we have to adapt and, and change the key to, to work for us so uh, sometimes that requires a capo or, or taking the capo off, whichever. Uh, but anyway, play it what you know where it's comfortable for you, and uh, have fun with it. Be creative and make it your own. I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in as always. If you could give us a thumbs up on this one, subscribe to us if you would. Uh, check out our links down below. Like I said, I'll put a link to the cover down there. You can follow along with. Share us on social media, Facebook, that sort of thing, and uh, check out our other videos out there. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks.